Hello, hello y'all and welcome to my kitchen. It's Alexis. I'm a Pampered Chef Consultant. So if you need anything, check me out. The link is in the profile. All right, so I need to uh, flip the screen, turn off the, I got it. Mirroring image is off. So now you can see, you can read everything and what, I, what I'm doing. So anyway, we are making deviled eggs today. Well, just one or two deviled eggs because I need to make a costume for work. And I thought I would be go as a deviled egg. Hey Ken, hey Victoria, how you doing girl? I love your cooking girl. So you must have a big budget on food. So anyway, I am going as a deviled egg. So here's my deviled part of it, okay? And then I got two pieces of felt. One has like sticky part of it and, I, and they didn't have a white one. So I got the white felt and this felt is like sparkles on it there. So I made it, yeah, you made it finally is right. So anyway, we're gonna draw the egg white on here and then put the yolk on it and attach it to me. And that's gonna be my deviled egg. Now, this is my second work shirt. I'm gonna be using that shirt tonight cause it goes with the red skirt that I'm wearing right now. So anyway, and then I have a black apron that I'll be on. I'm just working as a uh, cashier at a local restaurant. So anyway, tips are appreciated even on to go orders. All right, so just FYI. So that's what I do to make my, my normal income and I, everything is mostly done in cash. So anyway, <clears throat> I need to draw an egg white on here and I don't want it to be the whole thing because that would be way too low. I really need it only to be like right here. Like, I think I did it right to there. So anyway, I need it to be no bigger than this. And I don't know, I probably put it right, right there. And I'll put one on the front and then one on the back so that we have the circle to go with it so I'll be a deviled egg get it so it's cute last year I went as a black widow and I had this spider on my head and I wore bedazzled jewelry and um I was the the black widow so when people came in I was like <laughs> want to get married no so anyway <laughs> Hey, King Crew, how you doing, girl? How's Atlanta doing up there? All right, so we're gonna draw this freestyle right here, and uh, let's let's see if I can. Here, we'll just angle you down there so you see what, what the heck I'm doing. And you know, even though you know we do a lot of our stuff in the kitchen, and um, so kitchen tools are the most important thing that you can have in your kitchen, and you want them to last. So just take care of them. I wash all my stuff by hand. So I'm just gonna make. I don't know, like some kind of ob like not quite. Oh, I went too low. There we go. All right, that looks good. That sort of looks good. It's not that dark. Now we need some scissors. I need some good scissors. I'm gonna do them the same. So I just folded my um, what is this eight? This is a nine by twelve felt. And so if you need a costume tonight, feel free to take this um, and run with it. You know, I had this doubled ears up in my, up in my, uh, 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 up in the, what is it called? The attic there. And so, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so it's not costing me anything except for the two bucks I spent on the felt. All right, maybe $3 max. So use what you got, you know, don't go out and buy anything. There we go there. I should singe the end of it, but I like, I used to be live on Periscope and I used to make my son eggs and they had to be pure white. There could be no brown whatsoever. Here's my egg. This sort of looks like an egg. Okay, so we got that. I can save this. I'm not saving this part because that's just too small. All right, but we could save this for maybe something else. I'll put it in my scrap box anyway. So we got that and now I'm gonna make a circle and put the circle right in the middle like that. And we just need to do two circles here. So one, I'm using part of my um, biscuit maker. There's one and do another one, two. There, all right, got it. And now we're gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna paste it on there. And I need to go get my Apple Watch. I forgot to get my Apple Watch. It's charged now. My phone just told me it's, it's charged because I, um, <laughs> I do the stand thing and I need to get it before the end of one o'clock hour here. I go to work at four, four o'clock today. And I'll probably be the only one dressed up at work, but hey, what the heck? I like the fun of it, you know? <laughs> There's one circle and we can put that there. And look, it looks, it looks like an egg just right there. Like we could fry it up in the pan. Let's get a pan and fry it up, all right? Here we go. Look at that, looks like an egg, right? There you go. So anyway, there we go. <laughs> 
is the funniest thing. Oh my God, I'm cracking myself up, y'all. Hey, Blondie, hello. Hey, Pirate Bob. Oh my God, is that Pirate Bob from Pittsburgh? Pirate Bob, Arr, how are you doing? Are you going as a pirate today? This would be a definite day to go as a pirate. All right. I haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. Oh my gosh, like probably for like 52 Sundays, you know? So anyway, uh, we are making deviled eggs today. And um, it's not, it's food, yes, but this is going to be a, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We, we're going to decline that. So anyway, hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> going to work today. I'm going as a deviled egg. What, Melissa, you had the best uh, content. Follow Melissa and follow Victoria, y'all. Y'all need to follow each other. Uh, you make great food. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> she works as a waitress also. I work in a small little thing. I mean, the, the most, I think, are, like our average check is like 15 bucks, you know, add in a soda is 18 bucks, you know, so it's, it's tip at least four bucks on there, right? So anyway, hey, 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 Gabe, how are you doing? Thanks for the follow there, sure. All right, so anyway, we're making this and this, this one, I wish I, I found it in white, but this one, you just peel it off and then we could put this right on here. And that's one thing, because I'm going to have to, uh, pay, what is this thing called? Safety pin my egg to my shirt so anyway there's one that's so cute right here's another one let's get the other one there and i gotta pin it to my shirt let's make sure it's big enough like like right like uh, all right i'm trying to figure it out from y'all i'm looking at myself in the in the in the phone all right Sit, make sure that it looks like a good egg like there you go that probably looks really good. So we'll put this on here and I'll put it on the back of me. So now I'm your deviled egg. <laughs> so one of my friends sent it to me and I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And then somebody asked me about, I don't know, a month ago if I was de dressing up for uh, Halloween, I said, oh, there's this great idea. And I said, that's, and they're like, oh, that was a good idea. So last week she asked me if I was, I said, yeah, I'm going to go with that deviled egg. I'm going to wear my red shirt with my red skirt and then have my red ears on and put an egg on me. And I'm a deviled egg. I mean, how cute is that? All right. So keep it simple. Stupid is, is usually the thing. Look, it's sticking to me. It's Velcro. I wish it would stay like that, but I got to pin it to me. So we're going to pin this on my nice shirt here oh and this is another thing this shirt's too big and so what i did is um and this has been on here for like months now i just got a little rubber band and um like a hair hair tie and i pinned it right there like i i just so it, it cinches you in it makes me look it looks i look snatched because this one has one too right here this one's not this one's a little bit different than this one this one's a size medium so I had to shrink it up a little bit. So just, yeah. So anyway, it looks really good on too because it brings you in rather than looking straight down. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's that's your tip of the day for clothes. Not that I do clothes tips, you know. All right, so we're going to pin this thing on. And I got I got all different sizes. of... I only need a few. But I, I like this size, but I got the tiny one and I got this big, huge one. So anyway, we got we got enough of this and hopefully I could pin it that doesn't look really bad you know so anyway <laughs> what are y'all going for as um at, for Halloween are y'all dressing up I have to go to work I have to work today so we're not going to do Halloween at my house because my mom she can't get to the chair and, and fill the candy thing and everything else so I was in I forget who's uh Daniel's uh, I think his name is Daniel so anyway um his mom's broadcast and somebody was like was like making fun of me because I'm not gonna or I'm a party pooper because I'm not gonna do Halloween well I have to work for one and um you know I, I'm saving like a hundred bucks on candy at least because candy today is really expensive no not for me it's Victoria uh, hiding in the dark <laughs> that's what my mom's gonna do is <laughs> she's gonna go stay in her bedroom <laughs> And we're going to keep the lights off. I still have the Christmas lights up from last year, like right around my, my dining room window. And I turned them off last night. <laughs> uh, Melissa says, I have to work on a cake. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, there's Ann Rush. How you doing? On a cake, mom will sit outside and hand out our candy. There you go. LOS, you too. Oh, shoot. I did it. I'm touching the wrong part of it. There we go. So we're just going to. 
attach it. Like I don't have to attach it really good, but I guess I should attach it here and then one more down here, especially on the front, because that's where I'll be working the most. You know, up, up. You know, I don't want to. I don't want it to come off. And I didn't want to use tape or anything because I don't want. This is my my good work shirt. There we go. Good enough. It's good enough, y'all. There. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I guess I should do this one, just because. Just because. Um, if I don't, I'll be flipping it all night long. I only have a big one left. I want to use a small one on the back too. And then we got to do the back because you know what people, when you dress for any occasion, even if it's just today, you got to dress front and back. All right. And I don't have my hair done. I got to do my hair. I usually put it in a braid, like a, some kind of French braid. Like I usually do a lot of braids for my hair. And, um, so I still have to do that tonight. I just put it this way just to come on, on here. Uh, that one's not that well. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. There's one. Let's get the back. Now the back, I'm just going to eyeball it. Because <laughs> they're going to get me coming and going. All right. Because even, even this band for the devil part of it, it does have a black part. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put it this way or this way. But I like the red on the white. So we're doing it this way. So they get me coming and going. So anyway. So when I'm a waitress or even that has like a hostess, I, I do all three. I'm either cashier, hostess, or waitress. And sometimes like the cashier that does to go makes the same or more than a waitress, believe it or not. So I like, I like being a cashier. I like, I love being a, I love being a host too, because there's no, there's no, you know, worries. You just welcome people and thank them for coming in and definitely thank everyone that comes into your business. If you are working anywhere within the public, please thank them. Even if you're at the cash register at Ace Hardware Store, okay, or um, at Publix, thank you for coming in. Thank you for choosing us because those people could have chose anywhere else to go anywhere. Uh, you really do it, it all, don't you? This is why your name is, can yeah, actually, Victoria, the, the reason I have can do is because if I can do it, you can do it, especially in the kitchen. I don't change the oil in my car. I'm sure I can do it, but that's just not one of my things. I did change all the locks in my house last week. I had, I needed help on two of the, out, of, out of the six. And then I changed the, the guts of my uh, toilet on Sunday. However, the hose to the, from the water to the toilet, that got a leak in it. So I had to go get a new one and I got the wrong one. I got the wrong size. It had a 20 inch, but it did it looked like that was too big, so I got the 12 inch one. Well, that's too small, so now it takes like four minutes to fill up my toilet. Mom's doing fine, King Crew. She's doing really good. She's, um, we're waiting for her to get some physical therapy. She has good strength, but her posture is a little off. At 84, yeah, it's gonna be off, okay? Oh, you're sorry, sorry about that. Hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Uh, Melissa, chocolate is always, yeah, chocolate is always good, whatever you're doing. I get a mix of stuff, chocolate and gummies. Oh, yeah. Uh, are those whisk? No, they're not. They're actually, um, they look like whisk and I wear them to work because they do look like a whisk, but it's paparazzi and it came with a, with the necklace and I rarely ever wear the necklace, but I love this and it came in different colors too, but the silver one, cause I look better in silver. Um, they're, they look like whisk, but they're not, <laughs> but thanks for looking. Hey, uh, Kim is in the house too. Uh, you should probably go, I should probably go buy candy. I didn't want to eat it either because I usually eat about at least 20 pieces of candy on Halloween and I don't have any candy, so we're not eating those 20 pieces of candy. I'm just scrolling back. There you go. I didn't get the, okay, we got, I'm, I'm up to snuff on, on, um, on comments here, I think. Mom's doing good. Where are you from? Hey, uh, Lauren, I'm in Southeast coastal Georgia, which is just north of Jacksonville, Florida off of I-95. Now you know exactly where I live. Okay. So <laughs> my mom has physical therapy two times a week, uh, through home Medicare. All right. So Ms., uh, my mom, uh, we have to go there. So I have to drive her there and then it's, it was a nice little place. She got in and out. Okay. Last week she got her, her, um, assessment. Uh, last week and then they have to put it to her insurance and the insurance has to say okay with it and then it's supposed to be two times a week I'm like that's a lot I would say once every four days would be fine <laughs> not twice a week that's a lot all right you have the most beautiful hair by the way thank you I keep meaning to oh thank you Victoria I appreciate it it's all natural too it's um it's hard to keep white I keep a hat on it when I go out in the sun but it does go um 
uh, like ombre color here. I have like a dark streak back here and I have a dark one up here too. Uh, Melissa, I'm also occupied therapy too. She broke her hip in August. Oh my gosh. Uh, I forget the difference between physical therapy and occupational therapy. It's two different things. Uh, you have, thank you. It's so convenient they come to the home. I know, I know Melissa, that would be really nice. I live in New York. What part of New York? Like Long Island, um, the city, or upstate New York? New York is so big. I could not take it, her for it. Bless you for doing it. Oh, we do. Um, and she, I, she has a wheelchair that she's been using a little bit more. She has a, um, uh, a compression fracture in her, in her uh, spine. And it's just, just doing things. She didn't fall or anything like that. It just happened. And there's a slight amount of arthritis in there in Brooklyn there you go New York City Brooklyn uh bless your heart Lauren I don't know what y'all are doing without those people up there I don't see any of it here I don't see any I must live with rose colored glasses on just FYI OT is more how to do things dressing socks uh, yeah that's what I thought uh, physical therapy is just like getting your balance um posture uh I forget what else she said it was but anyway I gotta get, pin this other one on the back here while I'm ch chatting with y'all I, he, hello, Bob. How are you doing? Uh, so anyway, thanks for coming in. I will download this and upload it over to YouTube. I did my uh, white chicken chili yesterday. It's over on YouTube and it's on my Facebook um, VIP page. And if y'all need any Pampered Chef, please purchase something today. Otherwise, I have to purchase $150 worth of stuff in order to maintain my, my standing with Pampered Chef this month because I didn't have any sales. I didn't reach the sales last month and this month they need to make 150 otherwise they um take away your career sales <laughs> my career sales with pampers chef is two hundred and five thousand. i'm just being honest with y'all and uh i've been with it i think for eight years now uh because i started it when bryce was a freshman in high school and now he's um he's a fifth year in college <sighs> just fyi so anyway, i have all the stuff and and you know what if I do have an order in, so tonight, if I don't get any orders, I just have to print, you know, say, send that out. But I'm going to get the cast iron grill pan because I like the way it, gr I like cast iron right now. I cook a lot in cast iron because you have a higher burning point on it. It's like 550 degrees, uh, which is the highest amount of heat you can take on any particular cooking equipment except for the Pampers Chef Rock Crock which can go up to 752 degrees yeah you heard me right 752 degrees so if you are cooking on a gas uh, grill outside that would be great for that and I have the both Rock Crocks and even the the slow cooker set to it being a caregiver is tough hang in there oh yeah I, we I, my mom and I I've been living all right so this is it this is my life story I was married and got divorced way back, I don't know, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. And uh, I didn't have a home when I got divorced. So my parents, I lived in Pen in, uh, in Georgia at the time, and I moved back home to Pennsylvania for five long winter years. The month I got home um, from going through the divorce, uh, my dad was diagnosed with cancer and he died three years later, about three and a half years later. And then a year and a half after that, my mom decided to move from Pennsylvania to here and I got into situational depression trying to pack up her stuff and get my stuff that was in storage for five long five long winter years and then we moved to Georgia and that's where how I got here to Georgia uh, so anyway I've been living with my parents and taking care of them since then I work in decoration and I like what you are doing I have a machine <laughs> Yeah, I have no machine it's all we, we cut this out by hand with scissors and I'm using this big old paper clip uh not paper clip this is a safety pin alexis um to attach this to my um oh this one has a at least a seam i can put it on uh attach it to my uh my shirt for tonight y'all and i don't care if this i don't care if the pins are showing because you know that's what it is it's supposed to be tacky halloween is a tacky holiday oh gosh this is not going to go in that one so we're just going to have to do it the way i did it before the seam is too heavy for the pin all right, let's just put that in. There we go. So anyway, you'll like my other one, Lauren. I'm gonna be doing, um, I gotta finish up my earring holder and it's a really good idea for like homemade Christmas gifts is an earring holder uh, for dangling earrings like this. And I have, to, I have to finish that probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. That and I need to, need to make my, uh, here, where did I put it? I need to make some, ah, oh, here it is. 
my muffins. Yeah, because I have these two old um, bananas over there and I need to make some jumbo muffins so that I can get back on track on weight loss and losing the 10 pounds I gained, okay? I'm learning to speak English is good. Tell with you. Okay, great. Learn to speak English. <laughs> All right, well, great. I talk really fast and you should hear me when I'm a hostess. I'll come in and say, all right, this is my spiel. I call it my spiel when they come in. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us. We have Pepsi products. I'm gonna take your drink order. We have Pepsi products, lemonade, homemade iced tea, and any combination of that, including pink lemonade or Arnold Palmer, which is lemonade and iced tea uh, combined. We also have, if you're an adult, we have a, a beer and wine selection on the back, including Yingling Lager Light, which is not on our menu. And then they give me their drink order and I'm like, all right, our specials tonight are, and I'll say, um, veal parmesan and um oh, what's the other one baked ziti which is penne pasta with meat sauce pepperoni and cheese baked in the oven to pure perfection okay would you like to have a bruschetta to start it now <laughs> oh, can you imagine me as your waitress or your as your hostess <laughs> i joke with people that's the best thing what's the best thing from pampered chef all depends what you're looking for um most of the tools that you own you use 80 percent of the time some of the tools that you have, you only use 20% of the time. 80% of your tools, you use 20%. It's a 20-80 rule on everything. 20-80. And um, uh, pots and pans and knives are a must-have in every kitchen. If you don't have that, or if your pans don't look up, like if they're scratched, chipped, or peeled, don't use them because you're eating that stuff. Um, one thing I do recommend is taking care of all your kitchen supplies. Wash them by hand rather than putting them in that hot dish, uh, on that hot, um, dishwasher i have a dishwasher but i never use it never use it i don't think it's even hooked up that's so true <laughs> yeah you have so much stuff um but some of the stuff yet yeah, like i said like at thanksgiving you use certain things uh but pots and pans are a definite must and the knife um the knife set right there and if you can get a, a knife sharpener that would help you out a lot too uh we do have a a knife set and it does come with a honing tool but it's only sold in the set, which is really sad. All right, so I got that. We got it done. Where's my hanger? Oh, I put it over here. So we got the deviled. So this is my deviled egg. And I missed my two, my, my one o'clock stand with my phone. All right, so the other thing is, is using the correct tools. Like, all right, so these two tools you probably don't have. This was, is a um, multi-tool blade sharpener, and it sharpens blades like scissors and like your processor thing that you could take out and sharpen. It has a one um, honing tool side here. One, one side, this angle side, is the one that sharpens it. And then you turn it over, and this is for double blades, like my food chopper and my knives. And this is for like cheaper knives and stuff. Now, the other thing that you want especially for bakeware or any type of thing if you're going to cut something you use a nylon knife because it doesn't scratch your um, bakeware stuff or your pots and pans don't be putting that like um don't be putting your knives and cutting stuff in your pots and pans because you're scraping your pots and pans you're like ah and then there's also um uh, i use a wet yeah you're you're old school that's that's like this is for beginners all right then when you get the professional um, tool knife set, you get a honing tool like this, and that's a grade up. And then you have a steel, all right, which is one grade up. And then the wedding tool is higher than that. So there's different stages. And most people aren't into that higher level of cooking and taking care of their stuff. Hey, Trisha, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in forever, like a month of Sundays, right? So anyway, um, more than a month of Sundays, right? I said that earlier. Hey, Trisha, how you doing? So this is like, um, it's, it's a, it's just a knife to cut cakes that are in like a, like a pan. So you don't scratch them. All right. Another tool that I use all the time. These are tools that, and this one I probably use, this is my, one of the 20, um, I use this 80% of the time is a, uh, cake tester and releaser. And this part is plastic, so you can get into like muffins and stuff to get them out or into anything. And it doesn't come with this pink one. This is just a straw, but it's the taste. Instead of using a toothpick, you use this, and then you can um, t get it out with that using that. So cake tester and releaser. I've used this to reset different things, like little tiny buttons and stuff. 
those are my the, yes those nylon knives yeah they're very very useful because you don't want to scratch your stuff on there let's put that back there we go so that's just some of the tools that I would recommend if you have everything you probably don't have some of this stuff like you you're 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 beyond you and Victoria are probably way beyond this all right but for most people like I need to sharpen some cheap knives and I gotta use this and then like the manual food processor you can use that all right um but that's pretty much it uh let's see I know it's really good to see you Trisha where have you been girl hey do you need any pampered chef um, the link is in my profile. You can go in there and just use the mystery show and order any of that online. And then like this, it's like, I rarely ever use these, but they come in handy for circles and I'm missing one. I don't know where it is. Now it's going to drive me nuts until I find the little small one that, that belongs in there, you know, and make sure that you put this, the stuff back in the same spot you found it. So you know where it is. Just don't throw it out. Hey, Aiden's in the house. How are you doing, Aiden? So Aiden, I'm going as a, um, deviled egg and I already made my eggs. Okay. I just have two. I know. Uh, <laughs> Melissa, I had combined my house with my mom's house. And oh my God, we had so much stuff. I have a, I had a box for my son, Bryce, when he went and got his first apartment. And he says, mom, I don't want to use the pampered chef stuff because they don't know how to use it. Uh, not use it, but they'll, they won't take care of it. So he brought a box back home and, um, yeah, so I have stuff. So I'm trying to save for him. When I get new stuff, I put stuff in his box. But I have stuff up, up in like these cabinets that I don't use. I have, we had four air fryers and I love the Pampered Chef air fryer the best because the handle, the thing comes down and you can look at, there's a light that goes on inside. But I have the, the round egg one. You can't see inside. I'm, I'm a visual person. I like to see what's cooking. And then I have another big one that we that we brought from Pennsylvania that's like this big and it's very cumbersome. But that one's also an air fryer. But I'm like, too many pieces for that. So, and that's down there. I'm like, I just need to get rid of some of this stuff, right? So anyway, hey, Aiden, we got the devil part going on. And here's my egg. Oh. There. There's my deviled egg. I'm going to use that shirt rather than this one. I was going to come on with just my um, tank top, but I, I felt a little insecure. <laughs> oh, that's nice. He'll ha yeah, he has, a, he has a great kitchen starter, believe me. The kid has more kitchen gadgets than, than most people do. Brilliant eggs. Brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> so the only thing I have to do, it's 2 o'clock. I got to get ready by, uh, I usually get ready by 3, and then I hang out for a little bit. But you know what? I got this soda stream thing, okay? This is... This is a ripoff, y'all. All right, but I'm into it now. Let's put this down here so I don't get dirty. No, let's put it somewhere I don't get dirty. Wait, I think I put it right there. All right, so anyway, I got this soda stream right there, okay? And it comes with these, oh, the canister's outside. But it, there's, a, there's a canister that has CO in it. And I tried to call a couple different C places that, that sell CO. Well, they don't know how to refill these bottles, these canisters. So I had to order, I ordered three online from the soda stream. And then when four of them gets empty, cause it's free shipping on four, but not for two. So I can send four back and get them refilled. So I go through one, one canister every three ish weeks. So <laughs> Aiden, thanks for the gifts. So anyway, this, and it did come with these two of these things here. So you get this thing, it's, and it's gonna, it's just soda stream, okay? And you get this thing, and, and my friend Kim gave me this for my birthday. So anyway, you put this up here, right that, and make sure it's above the ground. And you, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I like mine really bubbly, right? So we can open this up. There we go. And now I have sparkling water. Let's get a sparkling water here. And so it's seven up with no sugar and no, no flavor. <laughs> Just FYI. Jeez, thanks, Gaden. You're on a roll there. Oh, that's so good. I'll take the rest to work. They know I bring my own soda and they're like, oh, that's so nasty, Alexis. I said, I love it. This is the best thing. So anyway, I then they, they have a replacement thing that costs you $16 to get it refilled and they ship it back to you. So anyway, that's, and believe me, if I can find a cheaper way to do something, I will do it that way. Anyway, uh, so anyway, I am all done. We, we already did 
the uh, deviled eggs. And I showed you that. I told you a little bit about Pampered Chef. If you are interested in Pampered Chef, please, in the in my link in my profile, you can you can buy whatever you want over there. Uh, just message me. Uh, there's also a thing you can message there too. Oh, thank you, uh, Trisha. I appreciate it. That was a nice little cauldron thing. So anyway, this year I'm going as a foodie and we are going to be a deviled egg. Yeah, I saved this one. So it'd be nice. It goes re really well. And I'll show you what, what the rest of the uniform is going to look like. So here we go. Uh, if I can get my stand to stay up. It doesn't want to stay up. God. Stand doesn't want to stay up, y'all. You gotta have a messy house back there. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's not wanting to stand up. Uh, I think I got it. Watch your fall. All right. So anyway, this I got the red skirt on, and I will have a black apron on. So you're gonna get it coming, and then one on that egg on the back. So that is my deviled egg foodie. Anyway, I'm being silly today. So tomorrow I'll probably come on and we'll make those um, muffins. All right, and I'll finish my, what's that thing called? The, the uh, earring holder. Now I'll finish the earring holder. So thanks for coming in. Hey, Petty Becker joined through the invite. Hey, Petty, you came in through the invite. So anyway, I'm going as a devil date today, Petty. You need any Pampered Chef? I know your daughter's a Pampered Chef consultant, but hey, I'm looking for a few, few orders to reach the 150 minimum. Otherwise, I gotta spend 150 bucks. No big deal, because I'm gonna get a, the cast iron grill pan, all right? And I need the peeler set, and uh, pancake mix is on sale. The brownie mix is on sale. The cookie mix is on sale. Oh, and uh, I need uh, the three onion rub. No, no, the garlic and onion rub. Did I lose it? I don't know, it's in here somewhere. Hmm. I need the, gar the garlic and herb rub that's what i need i look great yeah i'm 10 pounds heavier but i gotta lose it we're gonna lose it together patty so anyway um i gotta get back on track i did uh, white chicken chili yesterday which is really good it's posted on my um vip page on, on facebook and it's also on youtube so anyway that's it so i'm going as a deviled egg what are you going for as halloween <laughs> talk to y'all later bye everyone <laughs> i'm being silly talk to you later i gotta get going i gotta i gotta I gotta eat dinner yet. Have one. Oh, well. Oh, I'm just working tonight as cashier. So I'm doing good. Doing good. So, anyway, thanks for coming. Double egg time.